Just to let you guys know, at the end of the video, we are going to do a little versus uh, with a 10 inch lag uh, between the Hilti and the Milwaukee. So please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Ooh. Oh, well, that Milwaukee didn't last long at all. Alrighty, so I just got the uh, XPS uh, half inch to a quarter inch X adapter. And so, yes, we are going to see on how long this lasts. I'm going to mark today's date in the description. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to test out the Hilti brushless quarter inch X impact driver. Now, I was so excited when I got this one, and I cannot wait to, to do versus videos between uh, Makita, DeWalt, Ryobi, uh, Milwaukee. So, I do not know. I haven't watched many videos of this one, but this is a... Uh, of, uh, this is a pretty unique uh, impact driver, so I can't wait to test it, see what the power is, see what it can do, and we are going to test out the 2 amp, 2.6 amp hour and the 4 amp hour to see if there's a time difference when it comes to Hilti's batteries. So I will be using the 2.6 amp hour in future episodes for when it comes to Hilti versus whatever. And so yeah, this thing is uh, this thing's awesome. Alright, so this is model number SID4822. And this is a variable trigger only, which, no, no, I'm sorry, there is speed settings. The speed settings is right here. So that's one, two, oh, two, and three. And so we are going, and so the first speed, uh, it's zero to, uh, 100 rpm speed 2 0 to 1500 rpm and on speed 3 0 to 2700 rpm i do not know what the torque is or what the impacts is per minute but i'll put those in right now and so yeah this is uh this is i don't think this is new this did not just come out this has been out for a little for a little while uh and so but it's new to me uh it is a brand new tool though when it comes to it this was never used and so, yeah, got brand new batteries. This has a 4 amp hour. The 4 amp hour has been used a little bit. But both batteries are full. And, yeah. So let's test this out. Let's see what this can do. And we are going to be using the Milwaukee uh, half inch to a quarter inch uh, hex adapter. We are going to be using Tac Life impact rated sockets, which these things are awesome. Is the collet push-in? Yes, it is. Awesome. All right, let's see what this can do. I right, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. So already we we are just going to do. We're gonna do uh, one timber timberlock each. We're gonna put it in and take it out with a two point six amp hour and a four amp hour. Let's see what the difference uh what the difference is. Go back in there. All right, so. Ready, go. Time. All right, so let's go to a four amp hour. Let's see what the time is for this. Go about the same line right there is good. All right, so ready, go. seem that fast I'm not gonna lie that doesn't seem fast at all all right so let's take out uh, the 4 amp hour with the 2.6 all right so ready go very good let's go to the 4 amp hour yeah this doesn't seem uh, when it comes to speed, taking it out, it doesn't seem fast at all. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so we are going to do a four inch with the 2.6. Switch over to the adapter. 
All right, so right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Now, one thing I will say is there isn't that much skipping in the anvil. The anvil is not missing the impacts. I will say that. There was barely any skipping. All right, so let's put another 4-inch in with the 4-amp hour. All right, so ready, go. I, that, that motor smells good. I like the way that motor smells. It, smell, it actually smells like a brand new car. That's interesting. Seriously, <laughs> the motor smells like a brand new car. All right, so we're going to take the 4 amp hour lag for, uh, first with the 2.6. The battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. All right, it is time for the four amp hour. Battery is still four, uh, still full. All right, so ready, go. All righty, we are gonna just skip to for the two amp, two point six in. Let's do a six inch first. Let's see how well this performs with that. Ooh. Oh, well, that Milwaukee didn't last long at all. All right, so that is interesting, but yet it also sucks because I do not have another one. So the Milwaukee uh, adapter lasted the least amount of time. The, the, so yeah, the, the Makita adapter lasted the longest. Wow. Let's do a quick temperature reading for what it did so far. 110 uh, temperature it got so far. Uh, Makita lasted the longest by a long shot. Ryobi sucks. I did not get DeWalt yet. I cannot find the DeWalt ones. If I find DeWalt, I'll, I will get it. But the uh, Milwaukee Ryobi ones suck. Makita's don't. Makita did break, but it took forever for it to break. Alrighty, so I just got the... Uh, XPS uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter and so yes we are going to see on how long this lasts. I'm going to mark today's date in the description. Be interesting. Alrighty so that goes back like that. We are going to uh, take this out. Ready? Go. only as three bars it does not need to be full to drive in one one big lag all right let's so we are going to see on how far this actually goes and for any impact no matter what brand i start the timer once this starts actually driving into the into the wood all right so ready go
give that a I'm gonna give that a, a break for a couple of seconds just to do a temperature reading. We're gonna uh, keep this in time. 85, 85 degrees, 97, 98 degrees is what this got. All right, so let's continue. time that drove it in a little bit too far but i think it's okay yeah that's i got it good all right so i've got to reverse it there we go i was able to get that out whoa did it twist it i think it twisted this a little bit all right it is the milwaukee's turn we are going to use the five amp hour battery battery is full on speed three all right 10 inch lag here we go ready go I messed up on that. All right, so I dug that out a little bit. Let's see which one takes out the one first. Hilti is going to take out Milwaukee's lag, and Milwaukee's going to take out Hilti's lag. All right, batteries at three bars. All right, so ready, go. This impact driver is amazing. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, so when it comes to this, I did not mean for this to turn into a versus video. We're going to do versus videos between these two again in the future with different batteries. We are going to use a high output battery for the Milwaukee. But when it comes to this, when it comes to the impact drivers, like I said in previous videos, Milwaukee is the dominant. Milwaukee has the best impact. And look how look how compact that is compared to, compared to the Hilti. It's much more compact. I believe out of all the uh, the tests that I've done, Hilti has the best hammer drill, and Milwaukee has the best impact. So, in reality, when it comes to the most powerful, these two is a perfect combination. So, this has just been a test video of the Hilti. Imp uh, brushless impact impact driver now this is it uh i do not know if this is a newer model uh, i think this one's old it does have does have a quad beam uh around the the collet and so yeah so but it it is unfortunate that the milwaukee that this adapter is crap this didn't last long at all and it just pretty much snapped in half but we are going to test, uh, continue to our tests on the Makita XPS adapter. So if you think that this uh, test was wrong and I should be, I should do it in another way, leave it in the comments below. I will read it and respond it. But more tests are coming with different batteries and with a different scenario. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.